Uh, the next presentation is entitled the planning of uh, uh, distribution networks islanded operation this is from simulation to live demonstration it will be given by <coughs> mrs clara gouveia uh, uh, she got uh, her phd degree in electrical uh, engineering from the faculty of engineering University of Porto in uh, 2015. Since uh, 2011, she is a member of the Center of Power and Energy System of Inesc Tech in Porto, where she is currently the coordinator of uh, EMS, DMS network and automation area. Her research interests are focused on the development of smart distribution networks and uh, microgrid concept. So Clara, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Professor. Good afternoon, everyone. So I will be presenting uh, this paper, which, which uh, focus on the, the development of two tools, one for the real-time operation of distribution networks enabling its landing operation, and the other for assessing um, regarding network reliability, the impact of island operation, and also uh, the impact that this will have on the battery energy system's life lifetime. So, this um, this uh, this work was developed in the context of an European project, Sensible. So where we also demonstrated the, the, the tools and, and um, evaluated the benefits for uh, a real distribution network that I will also present here and try to um, also uh, share with you what were the main challenges for this practical imp implementation. So I will start with a brief uh, introduction to the integration of battery energy systems in distribution network operate focusing on the challenges for the landing operation and then I will present uh, the tools that that we developed and its implementation first in, a, in our laboratory facilities and then on the, the, the real pilot and show you the results for the, the short-term uh, operation planning tool and also for the longer term assessment tools that that we developed so the the main objective of of this uh, this sensible this european project sensible was to demonstrate the benefits of integrating storage in communities in buildings and also uh, in distribution networks where we focused our work and in this case uh, the the main goal is to increase the the, the renewable energy source integration capacity uh, we can also um, improve power quality, uh, taking advantage of, of the, 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 the power electronic interfaces associated to the, the energy storage devices and improve also security uh, of energy supply and the reliability of, of the system through the implementation of new grid services and also enabling this autonomous operation. But in fact, uh, enabling autonomous operation is is in fact quite challenging in this case we adopted uh, the, the the microgrid multi-level uh, control architecture where basically we have a, a set of local control strategies implemented at the, 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 the storage inverters to provide frequency and voltage regulation uh, in the grid forming forming units and then we have additional layers usually centralized uh, for the secondary control for the microgrid uh, energy balancing and also possibly to uh, service restoration procedures. But of course, the effectiveness of these local control strategies, mainly for the voltage and frequency regulation, depends on the availability of the, the, the storage capacity that in turn could benefit from the coordinated control of 
of controllable loads or, or other flexible resources that are integrated in the microgrid. But to provide this coordinated control, we need uh, um, high-level supervisory management algorithms and tools that allow us to define the best control strategies for these uh, other flexible resources that could provide um, support to the, the, the microgrid grid forming units, these this storage devices. And this is the main focus and the main objective of the short-term emergency plan, planning tool is to ensure this microgrid energy balance uh, from a preventive uh, perspective. So we use load uh, generation and flexibility forecast to plan the operation of, of the, the distribution network that could operate high landing, uh, considering that an, an unplanned uh, uh, high landing could occur and unplanned high landing could occur in the next time step. So we use the, the, the forecast and also the real-time measurements to plan this operation. So to ensure that the storage device has enough power and also energy capacity to ensure the high landing and supply the load during a predefined time frame. Um, I, I also added here to, 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 to this schematic. So we also analyzed then the impact of this the dispatch strategy that, that I, I will explain. And depending on the resources that we have on that uh, microgrid system, we could also need to evaluate the impact on the dynamic behavior of, of the, the, the network. For example, if we include um, fuel cell, cells or, or, or micro turbines, but this was not the case of the, the, the pilot. Since, uh, as you will see, we would we had only storage devices and controllable loads, there was not the, the need to evaluate this dynamic behavior in real time. So we just checked if the dispatch strategy that we will define um, don't uh, cause any additional um, technical violations such as voltage or overload of, of the, the low voltage feeders. So the, 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 the microgrid, the emergency planning tool is an online algorithm that calculates uh, an emergency plan for a predefined time horizon that we consider the maximum time the system can uh, operate in island mode. And this can be acceptable considering that we didn't dimension the, the, the storage device for a given uh, capacity that will result in the end for, for a specific uh, time. In real time, then the, 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 the network, depending on the conditions, can operate longer or, or, or even in a, a shorter period, depending on, on these conditions. But at least for this dispatch strategy, we consider this predefined time. And the dispatch will have the resolution uh, of the forecast available. In this case, we had a, a 15 minute um, resolution forecast. So, the, the algorithm developed is simple, is a rule-based uh, iterative algorithm, considering that the, the, our first goal was to install this on local controllers at the, the medium voltage to low voltage substation. So it had to be something that is able to, to derive a, a fast uh, solution and adapt the solution, considering the, the, the real-time um, information that we also received. So, but the algorithm is divided into main steps. The first is the emergency power dispatch, which determines a first solution for the, the dispatch of the battery energy storage systems. And these battery systems are, uh, as you will see, storage systems connected to the network that are not grid forming, but can support the operation during the, the islanded mode. So we the, define this, this past strategy based on weights calculated on based on the reserve, the available power reserve capacity, but also on the energy capacity of the system that is calculated considering the load the load forecast. On a second stage, we adjust this this uh, this dispatch um, uh, to avoid 
um, discharging totally some of these units. So we will check what is the, the storage device with the lower um, the, the, the lower state of charge and the one that, is, that has the maximum and try to redistribute the power dispatch according to the equations that you see there um, to, to try to minimize this, this difference between the two. So, the, the tools were uh, implemented uh, considering this um, management and, uh, and control architecture that you see here uh, in your left. Okay, and if we start from the, the bottom, this is really similar to the microgrid control architecture. We have on the lower level uh, capability to monitor the, the consumption from the, the low voltage consumers based on the smart meters. Uh, and they provide not only the, the, the average energy consumption for the 15 minutes, but also the average voltage magnitude. And here, the home energy management system is responsible for the, the control of the residential flexible resources, such as storage, uh, thermoelectrical heaters, uh, for in this case with the main objective of improving maximizing self-consumption it could also participate through the market in in, uh, in um, providing flexibility to support this operation uh, regarding the integration of storage as you see here uh, on your right we have uh, installed devices in the low voltage feeders and in the low voltage, uh, medium voltage to low voltage substation. In the low voltage feeders, these are smaller units that are controlled by the system operator um, and they are grid tied, meaning that we, the, 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 the operator can also control, only control the, the active and reactive power. The, they did not implement any local um, uh, group functions to support the, the, the frequency regulation. And here in the medium voltage to low voltage substation, we have the, the storage devices with the grid forming capabilities. So we had a, a, a battery system and also planned the flywheel that in, then in the, the, the pilot was not installed. So these units are monitored by the distribution transformer controller, which is a device installed in the medium voltage to low voltage substation that uh, not only receives and gathers all the information from the smart meters and also uh, the information coming from the, 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 the battery energy systems controllers uh, and can also send the set points for, for that uh, storage units. And in the, for enabling islanding, this controller also integrated all the necessary automation functions to enable the synchronization to, to the, um, to the, involved in the reconnection of, of the, the islanded system to the main grid. Um, uh, and all the, the management of the data flow for the tools, the, man, the management tools. So in this case, in the, 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 the algorithm developed could be implemented uh, locally on this controller, but as in a choice of the project, we, the, they, it was installed on higher layer uh, together with the forecasting tools. Okay. And just to give you an idea of the capacity of the storage devices. So at the medium to low voltage substation, we have a 50 kVA and at the low voltage feeders, we have a 30 uh, kVA and 10 kVA um, system and, and respective uh, energy capacity. Uh, and the med a larger storage system was also there from previous pilots uh, with a large capacity to supply this campus of Everon University. But first, and, and the, the, the first step before going to, to the field and testing the, the tools, it was necessary to validate not only the, the, the algorithms, but also the local control strategies to test if all these uh, storage devices could uh, operate in a coordinated way. So we, um, we developed a simulation model implemented in a real-time digital simulator um, uh, 
with the, the, the low voltage network model, the three phase four wire unbalanced model, which integrates also the, the average models from the, the distributed storage devices. Some of these models from the manufacturers, other developed by us, and um, also models for the, 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 the micro generation and, and the loads. Here, the main goal was to validate the frequency and voltage regulation strategies and also how the, 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 the dispatch strategy impacts the stability of, of the network. And just to give you an idea of the results, we can see here, we simulated uh, uh, um, an islanding operation of one hour. And in this case, what we did was to force a forecast error. So we defined the plan, we implemented the plan in the algorithm, sent the set points to this, to this uh, battery energy source systems. To the system two was simulated. Four is a real system connected to the laboratory. And here, what is most interesting is that we introduced an error on the forecast, uh, on the load forecast to see how the, the algorithm responds and redefines the, 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 the dispatch solution. The, the other point interesting on the power dispatch strategy, at, in this case, the algorithm defined that the, 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 some of these units should first charge, considering the available uh, capacity, to then have uh, an higher reserve capacity to, to, to provide um, on, on the higher load periods. If you look here in, in the middle, we have the power response of the grid forming units, namely uh, battery energy system one and flywheel. And the, the, uh, the last figure is the microgrid frequency. We can see first here the transient on the frequency regarding the, the, the landing uh, procedure, the landing transient, and then the impact on this, this smaller frequency variations are consequences of the, the dispatch strategy. Of course, here the load is, is, is fixed and changes in steps. So this is a response very, very uh, related to, this, to these steps. But uh, as we can show in general terms that we can reduce the contribution of the grid forming units, but even this, this contribution should be uh, scaled to this energy, uh, to the capacity of this yeah, system. Sorry? Two minutes. Okay, I will go on. <laughs> so just to give an example here, this is the, the real time, the, the, the results obtained on the pilots. We uh, were able to island the, one of these low voltage systems and also this entire uh, medium voltage feeder. Considering that this storage capacity has also the, the, the grid forming capabilities. And as you can see here, the aligning occurs here and frequency stays on the 50 hertz. This, the, the load at that time was really low, uh, but the systems behave well and maintain frequency uh, as expected on the 50. And there, there isn't also uh, too much variations uh, on, on the voltage. Okay, very briefly to show you also the results from, from the long-term assessment. So in this case, the, 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 we developed a tool that is able to provide information regarding distribution network reliability. Um, it's able to, to provide information regarding the, the expected uh, battery energy system lifetime and also some interesting indices regarding its use for, for given operation objective and also um, the renewable energy sources curtailment uh, resulting from, from the different scenarios. This is based on a sequential Monte Carlo simulation that is able to represent the variability of renewable energy sources and load uh, and also simulate these assets outages, such as lines, substations, transformers, etc. So the, 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 the operation plan for the battery energy storage is, uh, was simulated based on this optimization algorithm where we can force the discharge and charge uh, strategy based on C and D weights. And this one, this weight here is to, to load curtailment. So this should be I to, to avoid load curtailment. 
So, and the other restrictions, I just highlighted here this one for, for ensuring uh, the, the, the battery energy storage limitation and also uh, here the, the model for the battery energy system, which is a simplified model. So, in this case, the results obtained are consistent with this backup operation scenario. So, the use of the energy storage is, is low and consistent with a reliable uh, distribution network with small with uh, a small number of interruptions. But here, the, the idea is that it's, it will charge after this, this I discharging period uh, consistent with the, the I landing uh, operation. And also just to give you an idea of the results, so we show that we can, uh, in fact, improve the network reliability uh, with the landing uh, operation. The results will be more interesting as we have networks with high penetration of renewable energy sources, and I think the results will also be, uh, it could be more interesting uh, depending on the, the, the how we simulate this operation strategy of the battery energy storage okay just to conclude the conclusion please okay I'm, I'm, this is the last one so this is concluding so we have demonstrated the visibility of islanding operation and shown the the the, the benefits for reliability um, uh, and the impact on the battery energy storage regarding difficulties on the demonstration the main issue is the accuracy of the load forecast which is a, a challenging for low voltage um, and also low voltage network of observability um, where here the, the network topology mapping is essential, otherwise we need other approaches more data driven um, and also uh, ensuring real time observability of the low voltage network based on the smart metering infrastructure can also be uh, challenging depending on the communication technology used. Okay, and that's it. Okay, thank you thank very you, much Clara, for your presentation. We can uh, move now to the question just so that you can read. Uh, do you see the question? Yes? Uh, let me just stop here sharing. Okay, to okay. see the questions. Okay. There are two questions. Often the first one is actually two questions, and there is another question mm -hmm. that is coming up. Too. Okay. Okay. Regarding the fault, uh, in this case, we not, did not um, simulate the the these conditions. Uh, so we assumed that the, the that the conditions between before the eye landing, the voltage is not uh, let's say consistent with the uh, fault condition where the, the the voltage is really is really low. Assuming that we can. Uh, we can um, disconnect the, the, the network very fast. So it's possible to, to uh, land it very fast without suffering the consequences of the, the, um, of the fault uh, upstream. So I think I, I can ask this answers to the first, yeah. Yeah. to the second one. Uh, it was asked to, to, to read the question before, before answering. Okay, sorry. Uh, the second one, this seems to require detailed uh, there and load models, which have high computation time. How do you handle this in short term? Okay, so uh, the, the real time of, uh, algorithm that I presented, um, the, the load is assumed uh, constant, okay. Um, and also the, the the PV. So let's say I consider the, the average value for the load and for the, the renewable energy production to assess the the, the, the dispatch for the next for the next uh, 15 minutes. Okay, we uh, analyze this and see the impact, the dynamic impact of this dispatch, considering a, a more detailed model, a dynamic model of, of, of the network to see if this is acceptable. And I believe considering the sources that we have on, on the, the distribution network, it was, it was acceptable. Okay, so 
Okay, the next if you one. can give a quick, uh, a quick uh, response to the next one. Okay. Maybe there's still other questions, but uh, you will uh, yeah, try okay. to answer to the, the, this next one. How was oh, the location? Okay. How was the connection location of the very, the various battery energy system on blue waters determined? Okay, this this was done by by other partner on the project through simulation to see what would be the most interesting uh, regarding the voltage unbalance uh, because this is a rural network and and the impact on the voltage congestion uh, and so on. But this was the, this was simulated, yeah. Okay. Okay. And a very quick. Then the uh, last one. Do you do, do you do something special for the reconnection after the eye landing? They just few words. Otherwise, you can be. No, <laughs> we did we did not do any special because the, in this case the storage devices enter in automatic mode to to charge and maintain acceptable uh, state of charge limits. Okay. Okay. So let, sorry, I have to stop uh, here. Uh, so thank you, Clara, for your presentation. Thank you very much. Sorry for the attendance to not continue this uh, discussion, but I think uh, now you know Clara, you can ask her directly questions through email. <laughs> thank okay. you very much. Thank professor. you very much. Let's move.